Hey guys, Master Figgy here, bringing you another video, and um, it's been a while since I did an opening video, and um, I didn't think I was going to be doing one for a while, but just by chance I was in town, and I picked up uh, one of these, the Dragon's Legend, uh, the complete series, and um, so as you guys can tell, it has like uh, a fan of Critias, Clove Hamels, and the Eye of Tamias, you know, from the Season 4 of Doom Monsters, uh, there's also the die there. Um, of Hermos, this one has. Um, it's not the greatest set, I'll admit, but I do want to just pick it up just for the fun of it. I have bought a few of these uh, cards from the set um, online, but it is fun just picking this up to see what I get. And also, I have two uh, boosters of the legendary duelist uh, Rage of Ra. Um, I did have three, but what happened was I. I picked them up out of the bag when I bought them, and I noticed that one of them was actually opened at the bottom. Now all five cards were in there. Uh, these were the five cards: Jinzo, Jinzo uh, Dexor, uh, Amplifier, uh, Jinzo Lord, uh, Mech Lord, Astro Mech Anical, and Mech Lord Deflection. But I thought for a second that some of the cards um, were not going to be there. I thought they were going to take the rare, or maybe they swapped them out, I don't know. Um, but that just seemed really dodgy to me that the bottom of that booster was opened already. So I'm going to start off by opening the Ra or Rage of Raws. Um, you know, just inspecting them, they don't seem opened, or that one doesn't. Let me just check this one. Uh, this one seems alright, so I'm going to start off with these, just because that was just really dodgy when that happened. Like, I didn't know, it actually it was just before filming, I noticed it, and I was just like, what? And um, so some of you know, like, uh, this has the Ghost Rare Raw, so let's check this out. So we have Jinzo, a nice one, uh, in common. Um, I do have him in Ultra Rare, uh, I think it's Ultra Rare, uh, from, actually, hold on, let me fix this. Camera a bit. Oops, there we go. Uh, Jinzo Common. Uh, this is my third Jinzo, so I'm happy with that because I like Jinzo. Uh, Token Sunday. Then we have Mechlord Army of Grenal. Then we have Mechlord Astro the Eradicator. And the fifth card, whoops, is Mech Lord Army Deployer Obligate, Obligate, Obligato, Obligato. Um, yeah, so I would like to actually build a Jinzo deck if possible. Uh, but I don't know if it's great to make one. Uh, I know there's the Xyz monster, and this is one of the secrets. I think it here. Yeah, it's an Xyz monster, and um, I almost actually forgot about these uh, until after I bought this. So it would be pretty cool to pull uh, one of the better ones of those. So let's start off. We have Mechlord Emperor Weasel, or Weasel. Then we have Mind Control, not bad card. And uh, then we have Jiragido. Jir uh, so during the battle step, a quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do gain 1,000 life points, you can only use this effect Jirago once per turn. Quick effect, you contribute this card to the entire one phase of monster you control. It gains 1,000 attack to the end of the next turn. Not a terrible card, and um, I think that would be pretty interesting to try out. And then next we have Reactor Slime. And I'm not really sure if that's good or not. I need to look over that because that's a huge amount of text. And a common monster reborn. Um, okay, not not the most exciting pull, I admit. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool just pulling them out of Jinzo. Uh, whoop. So let's just get into this Dragon's Legend. Uh, the set itself, as I said, isn't great, but um, 
And uh, I don't think I'd be getting these, or too many of them. Maybe like one more maximum, but that would be it. Uh, so first I'm going to show you guys the die. So all the numbers, you know, are pretty much the same, very simple. Oh, so for the six, I don't like that actually. They decided to put the Yu-Gi-Oh logo like on the six. I don't really like that at all actually. Uh, but I do like the Hermos, which is pretty cool. And um, yes, I'd, I'd be using that for D&D. And uh, what is the bonus card? The bonus card is Awakening of the Possessed. Rasen Ryu. Um, I'm assuming this will have to do, this will, will be useful for the Familiar Possessed or the Charmer deck, uh, whatever you want to call it, that's coming out later in October. I'm actually really excited about that, guys, because I remember Charmers coming out so many years ago, and they were a pretty interesting archetype back then with Familiar Possessed. Um, so, yeah, let's get open up Hermos here. There we go. Okay, so first off, we have Magic Hand. Oh yeah, the hands are a little interesting, I thought. I'm uh, just moving the die here. Yep, there we go. And they might be interesting to try out. Uh, Red Eyes Burn. Uh, Lion Hearted Locomotive. Um, when this card declares an attack, its attack becomes half its original attack at the end of the damage step. Um, yeah, it's not great, but it's not too bad in a way. A uh, Parasyroid. Then we have Celestial Sword Iatos. Yeah, the Iatos cards. Uh, this card is free as a Noble Arms card. Um, but yeah, I remember the Guardian cards from uh, used by Raphael. That was pretty awesome. Uh, Wire Tap. Uh, next is Battle Fusion. Um, which is kind of ironic, be or well, funny because um, I bought three copies of that online um, already. Um, three, er, sorry, Red Eye Spirit. Then I have, oh, nice one, Seal of Orichalcos. That's pretty awesome to pull. Um, I do like the green lettering on this card. I don't like the green lettering on um, on a lot of the cards. This is like one of the few cards that I do like it on. So. Yeah, I'm really happy about that, guys. It's the scene of Calico. So, yeah, that's definitely a great pull. And a Shadow Tomb, which is pretty awesome to get for... I would like to build a Tomb deck at some stage. But Tomb cards are a bit expensive. Uh, then we have Black Sonic. Uh, well, when I say expensive, I mean expensive for me. I know some people go like budget decks. And they go 100 euro, and I'm just like, a budget deck for me is like 10 euro or something. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, Prediction Princess Taro Trey. And um, I might have a look at that actually. Uh, next we have number 59, Crooked Cook. Then we have the Suppression Pluto. Uh, there's a whole archetype of those ones that are like based off planets. Well, I suppose Pluto doesn't count because it's not a planet. Uh, Flower, Cardian, Pol Polonio with Phoenix. Then we have Cyber Petite Angel. A uh, cool little archetype happening, but I have all the cards for that. So, uh, the Tripler Mercury. I remember, yeah, just coming back to it now, like this is another card in the set. I want to read over those cards again because I remember liking some aspect of them. And then we have Flower, Cardian, Willow with Calligrapher. Uh, nothing too exciting there. Um, but yeah, that was pretty awesome pulling that uh, Silvori Calcos. Um, sorry, just pulling that back sign with those three over there. Um, so yeah, just for the Silvori Calcos, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Um, that's pretty sweet. But none of the legendary dragons, which kind of sucks. And it would be cool to pull, I don't, uh, I don't want to pull Critias because I already have Critias. Um, but I am happy with pulling the Worry Calculus like that. It's probably like 3 euro or something like that. Um, but 
No, I'm pretty happy. So, starting off, we have number 73, Abyss Splash. This is another card I was looking at. Um, what is it? Once you perform quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, double its attack until the end of your opponent's turn. Also, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent this turn is halved. Um, and it could, it could be interesting. Um, two level five water monsters. I don't have a water deck, so a guarded treasure. What does this do? It looks pretty interesting. Card art. Activate this card by discarding five cards. Draw two cards. While this card is on the field, draw two cards instead of one for your normal draw during your draw phase. Mm, I suppose it depends on the kind of deck you're making. I suppose deck sending and all that. Um, number C106, Giant Red Hand. And I actually have Express Train Trolley Ollie. Uh, so an Xyz monster that was summoned using this card on the field uh, as material gains this effect. It is Xyz summoned. Oh, sorry. If it is Xyz summoned, it gains 800 attack. Not amazing, but not terrible, I guess. And uh, many of the Bound Creator. That's something to do with level 10 monsters. I know that. The Sacred Beast structure deck. I haven't bought it, but I just know a lot of people. Uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. This is one of the Hermos Fusion cards. It's pretty cool for a dragon deck, but I hate the Hermos Fusions that they have to be equipped to a monster. Um, did they actually change that, I wonder? So, if this card is special summoned, target one other face of monster on the field. Yeah, you have to, um, which is actually pretty annoying. I don't know why I put it there. Train Connection. Then we are, okay, so Legendary Knight Hermos. Um, I do like these Legendary Knight cards, how they look. Um, I hate the fact that I got the green lettered Hermos because I don't think the green lettering looks that good. Uh, another Seal of Calcos, that's actually pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if it would be any good though in a deck. I might read over the actual card because I know it's different in the anime and in real life. Uh, next we have Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with that one, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, Cyber Angel Dakini. Uh, again, I already have this card, but it's pretty awesome to have it again because it is a good card, I think. Uh, Aqua Actress Guppy, not really interested. Uh, Ritual Sanctuary, I don't think I have this card, so yeah, it's good to have this one. Um, next we have Black Cat, I'm oh, sorry, Black Catastrophe. And uh, next we have Cyber Angel Benton, or Ben 10. Uh, I'm instantly thinking of the Cartoon Network show, the original one, um, when reading that. Um, yeah, Cyber Angels are a fun deck. I use them in Duel Links sometimes, and they are really fun. I've never used them in an actual duel, uh, like, you know, proper dueling. And Cyber Angel <laughs> Eden, this is some booster. So, like, straight away after. Cyber Angel Benton is uh, Idaton, and then what? Like, I got the Ritual Field Spell, Ritual Sanctuary, and Cyber Angel Dakini. That's actually hilarious. That's brilliant, actually. Uh, um, next, we have a special schedule. Um, it mostly has to do with machine monsters. Yeah, I don't really use a machine deck, but I might have some in the future. And S Flower Cardian Willow. Yeah, I'm not really... That giant trunade in the picture? Like, you see the Cardian? Yeah, I think it's giant trunade or the other one is... I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with getting two Orichalcos. And uh, one of them has blue lettering, one of them has green. Not too bad. Uh, Shadow Tomb, so here are the two seals for Calicos. That's pretty awesome, actually, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. Legendary Knight Hermos. I like having this purely for nostalgic reasons. That is kind of why I like this pack. Um, Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, I might use. Um, I don't really know what it does, so I should look into that. Black Sonic, what does it say? When an opponent's monster carries an attack, and Black Man, okay. Um, it's a Black Wing card, which. I don't use, but yeah. And Shadow Tune, I think this is actually one of the more expensive tune cards. I could be completely wrong, actually. I think I am. I think I'm thinking of Mimicat. 
Uh, if you control two mortal target one face of monster your opponent controls, effect damage to your opponent equal to the attack of that face of monster. You can reactivate one shadow to So if you control a team or target one face of monster, your opponent. Okay. I mean, it's it's alright. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I might do an opening video. I don't know when that will be, to be honest with you, because I'm not too fussed on opening too many of these. I am looking forward to getting the Familiar Possessed, aka the Charmer deck, whichever you want to call it. Um, I prefer to call it, well, I, I call it both. Um, but that's something I'm looking forward to because there's going to be alternate arts for different cards and different uh, structure decks. So that's something to be interested in. And I am lucky, I am happy that I got this die. Um, I do like this. Uh, I'll be using this for D&D &D probably. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and thank you.